And started early on. We're going to see a number of backs tonight for Tulane. First and 10 now at the 20-yard line. And that's the give. So a quick fake out of Pratt. Worried about on Tulane's side. Deuce Juan, Jaquan Jackson. A couple of receivers we'll keep an eye on tonight. Now third and eight. Can the Tulsa defense going to stop? Pratt's going to look deep. These corners are experienced and they are long. And you see right here, with them every step of the way, no fighting at the top. We mentioned Hutterson and Carroll, the only duo in the American with over 500 yards each. But watch Amari Jones, a great receiver out of the backfield. And that's going to be the pitch to Carroll off the right side and a good move to get to the corner. And Carroll, empty backfield now for Pratt. And he's going to look right, throw right immediately, and that's Carroll again. Second and 11 now for Pratt in the green wave. Pratt looks left, throws left, caught. Says we'll have to wait and see for the scenario. Third and four, the current situation for Pratt. Has time, has to get forced out of the pocket. Pratt's going to keep him himself and get the first down. Him wise beyond his years. And those are certainly something they've said about Pratt as he comes out of the shotgun, forced out of the pocket, and he's going to be brought down. Look at big number 97 with the arm over. Tyera Stevenson getting the initial pressure. So after the sack, loss of three, second and 13. Fake to Carroll, roll out right. Pratt again gonna tuck it and keep it himself. Pratt's gonna look left, throw to the end zone. Didn't get it, falls incomplete. Michael Jones working in the middle of three right here. Goes to turn for the ball. We covered that game a couple of times when I used to work in Lawton, Oklahoma. Back in the day. Tulane going to run the ball. That consistently. So second and four. Use his legs yet again on the perimeter. So Tulane just one of three on third down tonight. Third and two. Neither offense able to get anything going. They're going to run up the middle. They will convert Cameron. The center, number 52, Sincere Hainsworth, works up at the last second to that linebacker and gets off. You just got to get enough of him. It's not going to be a flat. Play fake now. Pratt, a nice job rolling out. Our player, that position he plays. We'll get into Williams' story throughout the night. Now second and ten. Quick play fake thrown. Call. Pratt, time, steps up in the pocket, and it closed against SMU. And it's been true to form early on for both teams as Tulane's going to try to take advantage. Stephon Hutterson. Pratt looks over to the sidelines to get the play. Five seconds left on the play clock. Pratt going to roll left, show an option look and keep it. Tackle him into the game. 158 yards on the ground for Pratt on 70 carries, so he will keep it. A nice cut there by Hutterson. Of nine. Justin Wright, number 30, watch him right there. Sees it, thinks he has it, moves inside. Just a great move in the backfield by Hutterson. As the clock ticks down here in the first quarter, they're going to get the Hutterson off the left side, and Hutterson is these ones especially are great at it. To get a playoff here before the end of the first quarter. Again, it's Hutterson. Couple of missed field goals. See if Michael Pratt and the two-lane offense can take advantage. They give the end of the ball up to your backs, pulling behind these tackles. So third and three, they're going to do just that. The handoff and away. How about Will Wallace, your tight end number 84 on here on the right side, getting in there, throwing his hat inside, digging out the defensive end, Jackson Hart. And it, it's at this point, each team kind of just feeling themselves out here. A run up the still too early to. Pick out our favorite big fella in the game as Pratt get a fake, pulls it out, has time, sets his feet over the middle, listed as the second, tenth play of the drive for Tulane, third and 12. Pratt, time, pocket, collapses, set. Number 30 right in the middle of this, and Justin Wright, he looks like he's bailing out at first, but then he sees the running back stay and protect, and he green dogs it on this one. He has that responsibility, heads up field, and now that second day at the 23. First down run by second and eight. 
Pratt to throw. Couple of fakes, gonna look deep. Flag on the penalty. Wise move with the penalty, so a first down for Tulane. And again, it's Jones off the line. Fake again for Pratt, pulls it down, looks deep. All kinds of players. Pratt swings it out of the backfield. Cameron Carroll on the reception. Come up and make plays. The 3-3-5 is designed to stop any big plays down the field. You see the zone drop from Collins, and as soon as he puts eyes on it, that's just a body that can put his hand in the ground and look more than comfortable. He played quarterback and running back in high school here on third and 19. Carroll, your best defensive player, give you some points. That's as good an individual effort on the defensive play that I've seen this season. What an effort by Clark from Tulane on offense. The second and eight, Pratt, pump fake, stays right, has to climb the pocket, does a good job. He's hanging out down the line of scrimmage, will stress every offensive group out. Pressure again, does a good job picking up the blitz. Pratt, goods. Tell you what, Ole Les had him slinging it. Famous line there, let her rip. See if we can let her rip. So two back set for Tulane now. Second and seven, again to give to Carroll. And what a nice play defense. You're gonna watch Justin Wright just go right underneath as the puller. You've gotta have your eyes on your line. Now at the seven minute mark here in the third quarter. Third and long again for the true freshman quarterback. Pratt looks over the field, has a man crossing. That's Deuce Watts and date of 19. Blown coverage here in the back end. You see Zaven Collins staring down, but everyone's running with the wide receiver coming left to right across the screen. He'll get the first down. Willie Fritz told us of the young player. He throws a very catchable ball, an opportunity there. Make the receiver a runner, and he did so on third down. The runner coordinator said he, he sees life a whole different way, and, and it's really translated into the field, taking nothing for granted every chance he gets. And a good so first and 10, 22 yard line, and a great cut. Pratt, the give, Hutterson up the middle. Loves to be, so maybe this is the worst possible outcome. There you go, that's the glass half full. Ball at the 27 yard line, Tulsa's defense right, can guess what Montgomery did. That was the right call to go for it on fourth down with the offense struggling. Pratt gonna pull it, he's gonna look deep, has a receiver wide open. Nothing over Tulsa. You see William Wallace, the bottom of the screen, quarterback rolls out, and everyone's eyes go with him. Tight end leaks out of the backside there. The wheels in the... For now, minute 21, left in the third. And the give on first down to a ball offense out of some tough spots. So first and five, again, Jones off the right side. Likely to be the final play of the third quarter. Jones up the right side. He sideline there. Philip Montgomery irate as Tulsa gets to continue. The, excuse me, Tulane gets to continue this drive. So start of the fourth quarter. It's going to be Amari Jones off the left side. Continues to run it hard. And what a time since 1956. Early movement, not. I knew where you were going with. with the Second and twelve. Here. It's a mistake for the Green Wave. They're going to give it off to Hutterson, who stutters to offenses. And this is where you can see Zayvon Collins, their star, make a play as Tulane's going to run it on first down. And Hutterson, he's in riding a four game winning streak. And it's Hutterson again up the middle and back a little bit. But when linemen are getting up on him, he's getting blocked right now. Snap down, recovered by Hutterson, and tackled immediately by four. Amari Jones, left side, tackle, and now third and long. Great job crashing down by Anthony Goodlow, number 94. Tulsa showing pressure, backs off, Collins in coverage, Pratt to throw, bigger than that moment. So now it's their true freshman's turn, Pratt. Hand. Tulane with two timeouts, Tulsa all three, under two and a half, Pratt the fake, rolls out left, elects to keep it himself, running away, eating into those Tulsa timeouts, 
Two hands on the football, no easy plays for this Tulsa defense. Hutterson on first station. Want to still keep it on the ground, force them out of those timeouts. And again, it's Hutterson. As you would suspect, this would be the third and final timeout. And they're going to take a shot at it to the end zone. Open. 21-14 lead. Watch him go up like he's going to block. They think this is a run play all the way. They're expecting in that situation. And you go up, you fake the stock block. Pratt and company, we're going to ice it. The big play fake for the touchdown to take the lead. And on first down, it's going to be Hutterson. Ocean. Pratt going to go to the end zone. It's so a third and seven. Pratt over the middle, in with the play action look right here. Off the left side, cuts it back to second overtime. Hutterson again up the middle. Great double team on the front side here by 79. I tell you, William Wallace, in addition to catching a touchdown, has been great back. Hutterson again, that's been the throne one. He came in debuting and featuring Zayvon Collins. Career high for him. Pratt going to keep it himself, designed to run. Pratt going to throw. Pratt pressured. It is picked off by Zayvon Collins. And the player we debuted at the beginning of the game is going to end it for Tulsa. In